My friends, as you can see, the electric guitar is finished. And I found an amazing coin. I'll tell you all about everything right after this. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Monday, January 16th, and I finally got this electric guitar all finished. It's uh, looking real good, if you ask me. Yeah, it doesn't uh, match perfectly, because you can see where the patch is, but that's a whole lot better than splinters and chipped out wood up there. <laughs> it plays easy. I've got the action down pretty low. But I can tell you there is something, and this is not my charge, there's something wrong with this jack right here. You just move it around a little bit and it'll lose all sound. But I tightened it up and uh, that helped. But it, it was uh, loose and anytime you would move it, it would uh, lose its uh, volume. You know, it, just, it would just cut out on you. But that's not my charge. That's, I figure that's the other guy's problem. Anyway, it's uh, up in pretty darn good shape uh, for the shape it was in. So I can get a hold of that customer, let him know that that job is finished. And I can move on to that old George Washburn uh, 1800s parlor guitar. Speaking of the 1800s, looky, looky what I found. 138 year old coin. I'll try to give you a close up of this that you can hopefully see even the date. almost pristine perfect. It's an amazing shape for that old. And it's probably been in the ground 120 years at least. There's a little bit of, uh, oh, just like mineralization on the back here, which I'm sure could be cleaned up. But other than that, it's almost perfect. It's, you can see almost every detail in this thing. And when I say almost, I haven't got down with a magnifying glass yet, but I'm pretty sure you can see every detail in this thing. So it's at least in fine condition. The odd thing about the value of this is the different websites have different values. <laughs> One of the websites, which is, I think, way off the charts, was like $1,100 to $1,400, you know. So I don't think we can go there with it. But, uh, you know, the, most of them were in the range of, say, $20 to $100, somewhere in there. So I feel like it is a, a valuable coin. It just happens that 1885 was the smallest mint year for that series of coin. In other words, they minted them from, I'm going to say roughly the 1860s to the early 1900s, um, about 1908, I think. And anyway, between that span, this was the lowest mintage. This was about 11 million minted, which sounds like a lot, but, you know, considering the rest of them were averaging in the neighborhood of 30 to 40 million per year, 11 million is pretty darn small, and that's what makes this coin a little bit more valuable, which is kind of cool. Not that I'm planning to sell it anyway. $100, you know, isn't going to make me or break me <laughs> if it's worth 100 but I did find some other things that I, some mystery finds and things, and I'll tell you about those right now. As per typical, I found lots of shotgun head stamps. They literally must have sat on their front porch and just shot their shotgun all the time. Um, again, I think some of these are the long, uh, solid brass shotgun shells that are broken off. And all of them are from, you know, right at the turn of the century, late 1800s, early 1900s, with the exception of these are pre-1890. So we know they're very old. Most of the stuff I find in this site is very old. I found this thing, and you won't be able to see it very well, unfortunately, and I wish you could. This is my first mystery find. I think this has something to do with holding up clothing of some sort, um, probably, I, I mean, I just don't know, maybe socks or something, but this is very, something went through here, I think. Uh, this is very heavy. It's like copper. It's, it's, it's you know, it, it weighs quite a bit, actually, for, for the size of it. 
and you can see it's ornate it's got fancy on it and you can see here that this piece is uh, smaller so something went through here like I would think some sort of a loop that would hang something don't know what that is but it's pretty cool I think just give you try to give you a close-up there if you have a good idea or if you know for sure what that is please say so I mean, I, you know, I only have my best guess, and that's what I think it's something to do with clothing. I found a bunch of gears and things, small gears to clocks. It looks like it's all to an alarm clock or something. And then I found this little tiny winder. And I, this thing is so tiny, I'm not sure it was for an alarm clock. It may have been for some sort of a small pocket watch or whatever, but... You know, I don't know that either. I would assume it's probably to the alarm clock that I was finding all the gears for. So that's kind of cool to find that. Found some more old bullets, but I'm not going to show you those because I just don't know the details on those yet. This is probably the coolest mystery find I've found. And I think we're going to be able to figure something out on this, though I haven't yet. It's very, very crusty. It's... It's... uh iron it's you know it's really rusty I almost think there's something like lettering on here there's definitely no writing on that I was hoping there was some sort of letters on there it's what it looked like it, it be, to begin with now I think it's just some big thing bolted through I still don't have any idea what this is I I don't think it's anything to do with uh, you know a belt or anything at this point I think it's something entirely different I really just don't know what that is it might be a foot off of something really don't know I think this is the back piece of a uh, two-piece button which possibly could be another Civil War uniform button because I found one of those this is the second one of these I found with this little knob on it I don't really know what that was either it seems like I've seen that before. In modern day, I would say this was a, uh, one of those uh, rings for a, a notebook, you know, a, a notebook ring. But I don't believe that's what this is. Uh, it looks like it was riveted together right there is what it looks like to me. And then uh, I found this l large piece of glass. Uh, you can see through this. It's kind of an amber green brown, according to my wife. She said it's got some green in it. Um, I can't tell what color it is by any stretch. And by the way, that 1885 penny, she said it's real green too, but it looks brown to me. <laughs> I just don't know what color. But anyway, this is really thick glass. I have a feeling this was some old, uh, you know, decanter, something for whiskey or something like that, probably. Now here's another real mystery find. I haven't cleaned this one up yet. I'm going to clean it up, and if I see something better on it, I'll let you know down the road. But Right now, I have no idea what that is. Throw this in so that you, some of the mystery would go away. This thing here, I think, is a leg to a rollaway bed. See this here? I think the other piece went in this way. There's some threads on this. I think maybe a wheel or something threaded onto this, or maybe a foot. But I kind of think that's an old, old portable bed of some sort. That, that's what it puts me to mind of. It could be some farm machinery anyway, but uh, you can see there where the holes there would have probably riveted it through to the other piece. The holes are faint on this side. You can barely see them. I found an old bell. You can tell it's really old too. Now, when we bought this place, there were the old, real thick phone lines run all over the place. In fact, there was so much of that copper and other kinds of copper laying on this farm that I took it all to the uh, recycler. This was in the early 2000s and got like $1,300 just for the copper. <laughs> so it was a lot of copper. But uh, so this could be to an old phone bell, maybe, that they had, you know, an early bell. If anybody knows, if they've seen this specific style and, and configuration, you know, please say so. And then I just found... I found a number of these grommets. Did they have these grommets during the Civil War, I wonder? I haven't looked it up yet. I'm just wondering because I found several of these. Tarps are very common on farms, so it's probably just farm related. And then here's a piece of nondescript metal that I think could have maybe come off of a 
something small like a pocket watch or something like that, but I doubt it because it's got a, kind of a, a little bit of a cutout right there. Um, the rest of it's missing, I think. But it's kind of oval shaped or round shaped. See if I can straighten it out a little bit. I might be able to without tearing it up too bad. But it was... And this little nondescript piece just cleaned up. It's copper. That's all I can say for sure on that. I don't really know what that is either. Found this old valve stem. Uh, more than likely this is tractor related. Early, early tractor probably. Uh, might be Model T type related, but I don't, I doubt it. I would more lean toward tractor or something like that. This piece here that I thought might have been a door slide is now I'm almost 100% sure this was some sort of a frame. Uh, it's like a cast iron frame to something, you know, like maybe a frame around a uh, door on a uh, stove or something like that. That's what I think that is. And then finally, just a little round piece of metal. But this one looks like it's got little nubs on it here and maybe here where something was on this, like wheels maybe. Don't know, just don't know. And found lots and lots and lots more, but these were just the more interesting pieces. I wish I could find an old silver, silver coin, you know, like a Seated Liberty type coin of some sort. That would be really awesome. But right now, this 1885 Indian head penny is the oldest coin I've ever found. So that's pretty cool. Neat to find it back there and neat to have it in such good condition. I really didn't expect it to be that perfect when I pulled it out of the ground. It's, it's just nearly perfect. You can see all the little tiny, you know, decoration all the way around the rim. You can see the decoration that there's a ribbon on it. Uh, you can read the word Liberty on the ribbon. I did haul a load of firewood over the weekend, and today I'm going to have to get back out there and cut some more, even if it is raining. I'm probably going to have to cut in the rain today, because I, otherwise I'm only going to make it through the night. Such are the woes of someone who is that dependent on firewood. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I could always uh, turn on the gas furnaces, you know, I'm not going to freeze. But on the other hand, uh, you can pretty much just go out there and see your thousand gallon propane tank just doing this. <laughs> so I don't plan to turn that on if I don't have to. And I don't think we'll have to. One thing I wanted to remember to say today is that uh, I had put a link in those videos to Scott's playing his guitar on Facebook. Well, it turns out Scott told me that those are only available to family and friends or something like that, so it's not open to the general public.